Here is the new use leaf that will try my entrance to the electric car world. Um, while it's no Tesla, it covers my common driving needs and I have upgrades planned for it. Uh, and I could almost buy like 10 of these for the price of a Tesla, so well, there's that. Let me start out by saying that this car is commonly not worth doing video about since YouTube is like filled with Nissan Leaf videos. Uh, I'm doing it mainly because of the state I got it in and some of you out there might be interested in that. And by state I mean I got the car with 338,000 kilometers on the clock and it still has the original battery under it. If you wonder why this is worth talking about, then you need to know that a lot of people still think that electric cars need to change their battery in batteries in few years. And if that would be true, that is quite expensive thing to do. Well, you can point them here then and let them see a Nissan Leaf that has covered like 338,000 kilometers and still has close to 70% of their original battery capacity left and this is like the worst of the electric cars out there regarding battery I mean Nissan Leaf is uh, okay now to the inside here are the odometer and the leaves by information for those who like to see that information uh, as you can see there is 338,000 kilometers and counting and here on the leaves by focus uh, you can see also the amount of rapid and normal charges up there you can see the odometer and so on top of the 338,000 kilometers the battery has received almost almost 7,000 quick charges and 1,300 normal charges <clears throat> that's quite some beating on the battery as you can imagine now you might wonder what the hell I have seen reports of terrible battery degradation of leaf batteries with like quarter of the mileage and you are correct since this car has the worst battery of pretty much all EVs uh, the buyer needs to be aware of what he or she is buying and what kills the battery by my example you can clearly see that rapid charging is not the biggest killer here I mean look at the number now divide it to let's say two quick charges each day that gives you around 10 years 10 years to reach this kind of degradation and uh, this car of course is not 10 years old it's from 2013 and it is used to be a taxi that's where the numbers come from here you can see the other screen with capacity information and if you're interested it has 15 kilowatt hours of usable energy when fully charged so if you wonder how this has aged so well then it has to do with the main weakness of the battery which is heat in my country the yearly average temperature is like 5 to 10 degrees of celsius over the freezing and that is pretty much the key if you bought this car and drove it that much in a warm country then the weakness of the battery that is no cooling would have killed it dead a long time ago so this is the story of 338,000 kilometers leaf and how it is possible leaf is the car for colder climate until Nissan gets its battery together and adds thermal management.
but even 2019 leaves don't have battery backs with a proper uh, thermal management keep that in mind if there is interest I can do another video showing the condition and what problems you might expect when buying such high mileage Nissan Leaf as I mentioned before I bought it with upgrades in mind the main one being battery swap to 40 kilowatt hour one also beefier on board charger might happen and yes my car is dirty I'm very sorry but it's very dirty period at the moment washing has little effect when it's back to this after like one drive there look at the Christmas tree instead happy holidays everyone